guys, this is B and A. So, we haven't done a video in a while. Um, we were at the store today, and we found something we didn't know was coming out. So, we grabbed these, and we thought we'd do a video. We love the Pick Me Pops. Um, we like blind toys, or bags, or whatever they come in in general. Um, and these were, the other two seasons are something that we um, try to get the entire collection of. So, usually in our videos, if you haven't seen any of those, we give tips on how to figure out what you're getting. Um, these are different than a lot of the others that you would do. Um, but the first thing you need to know is in order to figure out what you're getting, you have to buy one and get the list out of it. Um, I tried looking online quick when we were in the store and to see if I could find anything online that had each one. Um, the Pick Me Pop website does have them, but it's like a cartoon of them. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell what they would actually look like based off that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open one and then show you the list and then from there we'll give you tips on how to get the one that you're hoping to get um, so I'm just gonna start with this one real quick okay so here's this comes with a little stand it comes with a little note um, I know these say what you're getting but we don't like to look at that we like to open the guy first um, and then we check out the note and then you get the little lollipop you can put on the stand if you want um, one thing I was going to mention, too, is on if you're at the store and you find um, the holder that has all these in there, um, they do have, like, little cartoons, and they, they have some, you know, on the wrapping, too. Um, that sort of can help to tell what you can get, but, like, here's a picture of three. Um, and when I looked, on, looked online, I don't remember the exact number, but I think it was, like, 76 or something like that total between the mediums and the smalls. So that's a lot to try to figure out without having a list, so... Um, the, also for the tips for opening these, so these guys are scented, so that's a big, um, thing that will help narrow down in the store when you're trying to figure it out. Um, and then if you look real carefully, you can usually see some sort of patterning in here or a color, um, something similar at least. So those are the two things that we use to try to figure out what we're getting. Like I said, I don't have a list yet, so we're just going to open this guy. So here's the first one. Looks like an octopus. I'm going to see who this is. Um, also with this, it says these are style series so that you can do uh, more things with them. So this has a little band on here. So I think it's like you can actually just wear them like a little ring. So it hooks on your finger. So there's that. We'll see who this is. Well, here's a little paper. Store, I said that it smelled like sunscreen, so coconut makes sense. Um, it says, let's Shelly Brate. And it's Craw the Hermit Crab. Oh, it's a hermit crab. Okay, so there's that guy. I'm still going to check out this list so we can try to narrow down who else we're going to get. So, it looks like the Mega Pack exclusives... I'm just trying to see. This is really cute. These are really cute. Oh, this is the first time I've seen these. There's a lizard. Dust the pony. That's super cute. I think that'll be one of our top ones to get. Um, there's limited edition that have long legs. The ultra rares are posh pets, so they're probably the real furry ones. There's the rares. So that's the one we got is Craw the, Craw the Hermit Crab. Um, is a rare. Um, and then there's, looks like 12 of the commons to get. And these look really cute. We noticed in the store, um, this one on one of the packaging, Camo the Chameleon. That's really cute. Um, and I'm noticing right away, well, we noticed in the store too, but, um, they have some new scents this time. So, there are definitely some new ones. There's Blueberry Bubblegum. That definitely could make it hard to use our trick to smell them out. Um, Apple. Coconut, that smells like uh, sunscreen, so it's kind of easy. <laughs> Frosted donut, that would be hard to figure out. Fruity gelato. Marshmallow, that's kind of a harder one. Summer berries, so it's a mixture of berries. Pumpkin pie. Lemonade, and then there's some of the other ones that there usually are, like the chocolate, blueberry, grape, pineapple, strawberry, watermelon. Well, they're definitely upping their game in the sense then to make them a little trickier. Um, but when you're in the store, our well, my biggest suggestion is to take this list with you if you're trying to get a certain one. Um, it'll tell you 
you know, what category they are, but it doesn't matter if you're looking for a certain one just because you like it. Um, it'll tell you the scent. You definitely want to narrow it down. So when you're in store, um, you know, you're going to see what they got. You want to first give these guys a smell um, to see if you can narrow down what it might be. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that and see if we can figure out who this would be. Um, so I'm going to give it a smell and B's going to give it a smell and we'll tell you what we think. This smells kind of like a like a chocolate to me or maybe the pumpkin pie. Doesn't smell fruity. It smells I don't know, it's kinda of hard to narrow down. Doesn't smell fruity at all. I think chocolatey. Most chocolatey to me. Okay, so we both think it kind of smells like chocolatey. And then you kind of want to look in the package here. It's going to be hard to see on camera. Um, but see what it, if you can see any colors or anything. Um, we were talking about this one in the store. And we thought this both looked like it had some blue and some pink. And it looks like um, the pink are like spots. So offhand, the ones... That look like they have pink spots. Could be this Scale the Lizard. That's an exclusive, so that'd be awesome if it was. I don't know about smelling like donut, but based off the looks, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, this Niji, the Whale Shark, kind of has spots, but it's not the right colors. This is definitely like blue and pink. Maybe this Disco the Armadillo. The Butterfly has some spots on it. This is a tricky one. Oh, the, this kitten looks like it has some patterns on it. But it's kind of hard to tell what. This Michi the cheetah has patterns. I don't know. This is a tricky one. one? Patterns are the spots are small. I don't know. This fritter the... This top one here. Fritter the fennec? Fox, that's how you say it. Um, kind of has spots, but it's that's a fruity scent, so it's definitely not that. This is kind of tricky. I would guess based off the smell and the look. Oh, actually, here this per the Siamese cat, that one is pink and blue spots, and it's that's coconut. I don't think this is coconut. <laughs> Okay, well, we're just going to take a guess here because without really seeing very many of these, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to say maybe we've got Scale the Lizard um, or maybe Crumble the Kitten. Those are going to be my two guesses because nothing else is fitting with the look and the smell to me. So we'll get it open and we'll see what it's looking like. Is that one <laughs> I can't tell off the list who this is um, maybe it's this tofu the chinchilla but let's look at the sheet <laughs> oh so s'mores s'mores is the scent smell it now does it smell like s'mores I still can't tell it seems chocolatey yeah, so the s'mores, I smell the, the chocolate part, but I'm not, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's definitely s'mores. So that's the hard part of it. It is Tulip the Skunk. Where is that on our list? You see it? Mm -mm. Oh, right here. It's a rare. So it's Tulip the Skunk right there. So like I said, when you're looking at this and you're looking at the cartoon of them, it's kind of hard to tell what's he's going to have on him. Because if you actually get this guy opened up, he's got like like little starburst sort of on him. If you want to call that exactly a star, but you see what I mean. So if you want the skunk, when you're looking at the package, it's going to smell like chocolate. And you want to look for these designs right there. Hopefully you'd be able to see that. So he's cute. A little furry tail. They do smell good. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, real clearly s'more, but we came out with the chocolate, so that's close. So there's that guy. Okay. 
So let's grab the next one. Okay, so again, you want to give it a smell. This smells fruity to me. Yeah, I also think fruity. Okay, so if we look at the list of fruits, it's like a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a ton of choices for fruit. So, I'm going to say based off just that, that's going to be kind of hard to to narrow down. So, like, the fruity gelato, I don't have any clue what their meaning like that would smell like. So, unless you get one that says it's fruity gelato, you get to recognize the smell. Otherwise... I don't have any idea what they would mean by this. This one's a really hard one to smell. So, we're going to look at it. Because now they smelled again, and it always smells a little bit chocolatey to me. So, I'm going to look carefully at here. This one has some pretty distinct, like, spots on it. So, if you did the other series and it had um, the foil, the special foil ones they did with the spots, it's really distinct like those looking. Um, I don't think any of these have foils on them, but it's really distinct patterning. Um, and to me, the patterning looks like they're the light colored spots. So maybe like a yellow or a pink. Um, based off this list, looking at that, I'm going to say... That maybe this could be like Michi the Cheetah. That's a donut smell again. That would be kind of hard to know what they are going to say a donut smells like until you actually get one open and it says it's donut. Um, both of the Scale the Lizard and Purr the Siamese Cat both kind of have the patterning, but it doesn't smell. I definitely don't think it's coconut. The coconut was pretty darn um, distinctive to smell in the package. I don't think it's that. Maybe Disco the Armadillo. He's a little patterned on him. But it's a little hard to tell. There's Sting the Bee. That one is... Sting the Bee is a pineapple. So it's possible. But it, it's those are circles. And this looks more like spots. So my guess is going to be this is Michi the Cheetah. We'll see what Bee thinks. And then Bee thinks it's Rock the Rhino. So we'll get it opened up and see... Who it is. The big ones in the back are $10.99. Those, those are the double packs. Um, we had... Um, these are $4.99. Um, where we live anyway, they're $4.99. And then they did have the big jumbos. And I don't know if you've seen those, but they made some really cute ones. There was five. Um, they made the little pink llama from the last season. Um, they made a blue bear... A blue pony. Oh, so it is on the list. So if we flip it over to the double side, we'll get there and we open those. Um, but they do show the jumbo plushes they made. So they made Love the Bear, um, Jungle the Tiger, Inca the Llama, Polo the Pony, and Truffle the Poodle. Um, we saw the these two, or these three actually. We've seen those three. Um, they're super cute. And then Polo the Pony is, I think, the one we're going to look for the most this time. Um, I'm not even going to get onto the sheet because I've seen the sheets on the other side, or the guys on the doubles and the, um, the double packs, and they're super cute. So we're going to focus on these first. So let's get this guy open. That one is... Oh, B was right. It's Rock the Rhino. So she was right on that. So that one is the gelato. Fruity gelato. That's the one I said I thought would be really hard to smell. So we're going to give it another smell. Yeah. This this scent is... It smells really good. It's definitely fruity and it's really strong once you get it open. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm like, oh yeah, that's gelato. I don't have any idea. Like, to give you an idea of what this smells like, like I don't even know. Like... It kind of reminds me, like, if you're walking in the mall and you walk by Bath and Body Works, this smells like something coming out of there. Like, it smells really good. It's fruity and perfumey. And it's really strong. So, um, it smells good. But gelato, I don't know about that. But he's super cute. Look at his little patterns. So, these are the distinct patterns I was talking about. You can see in him. His little horn. <laughs> he's really cute. Oh, he's got the little strap there, so you can, like wear them on your hand and all that good stuff. Here's his little note. Rock the Rhino. 
with his little gelato. Rhino will be friends. This was like, I know we will be friends. Anyway, so he was a common. So new, no duplicates, so that's good. And let's do our other small that we've got. I'm going to give it a smell. This definitely smells fruity to me. And if you look at him, or her, whatever, um, it definitely looks blue. And I can see pink spots, like really clearly. Blue with pink spots. So B is going to guess that we've got Niji the whale shark. That's a lemonade scented. Um, I don't know what my guess is on this. You very, very clearly see like pink spots on it. Like super clear. I mean the spots definitely fit the whale shark. Scale the lizard has pretty distinct pink spots too. It doesn't smell like donut to me. Sting the bee. Since the spots are so clear, I'm gonna say maybe it's a sting the bee. And bee guesses is Niji the whale shark. So we'll see what this is. These are a lot harder than the other ones. They've got a lot more sense and they're harder ones to distinguish. So see what we got. See who it is. Wait, before we open it, let's smell it again. See if we can smell it better now that it's out of the bubble. I can't really smell much of a difference, but I still think it's the whale shark. Yeah, I don't really smell much either. Ah, she was right again. Niji the whale shark. So, on this list, it looks more green. When you get it open, it looks more like a light teal. So keep that in mind if it looks blue to you. And you see the spots. Probably talking Niji the whale shark. So let's give it a smell now. Okay, so the lemonade does not smell good to me. <laughs> I don't think it smells like lemonade. I think it kind of smells like lemonade, but like very strong. So it doesn't really smell like it. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this scent so far. So, maybe if we let this guy kind of chill out for a little while, maybe the scent will get a little better smelling, but not a big fan of lemonade. I, I don't smell lemonade out of that. It smelled better in the package than it did when we got it open. And that's usually not the case with these. So, we'll always be together. Need you the whale shark. Drink a little lemonade. This picture's really cute. Um, and then he is a rare. One thing I've noticed that's different is the little, um, little papers. Last time you opened up, like, his little envelopes of these, you don't open. It's just a little sheet, which is fine. I don't think that's any big deal. They made really cute characters. Um, it is cute that they have the little bands on them that you can, like, wear them and stuff now. Um, I don't know that we would really use that as a difference. Usually we just hang them on things. Um, we have some that we keep in the car and it kind of keeps the car smelling good, but on a backpack. Um, okay, so those are all the singles that we've got. So, um, if you're looking for these, the coconut guy definitely smells like sunscreeny, coconutty. Um, rock smells really good, but it's not the gelato. It's hard to pinpoint. Um, s'mores guy, again like chocolate so it's gonna be tricky to distinguish chocolate from s'mores when you're in the store um but let's get going on our double packs so if you flip your list over you've got the two packs on the other side so just want to give this a look real quick there's some really cute guys on here there's a koi we love koi we have koi fish um that's really cute like let's let's just be real all these guys are really cute so same sense you're looking at the same scents. Um, I'm noticing right away that here this opal, the possum, has stars on them. Um, so if you're looking for that one, you probably could see stars in, through the package. They had a mouse that had stars on them in one of the, um, one of the sets, and that was really distinct to tell. Um, Kuma the sun bear. That's cute. That's got really distinct spots, too. These are cute. A bald eagle. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and for the ultra rares, for the two packs, it says rainbow. 
So, I'm wondering if their bodies are kind of like a ombre rainbow lake variation. Oh, it's a little hard to tell because this Ducky the Platypus kind of looks like one of the otters they had that had different colors. So, I'm curious what that really looks like. Um, to see if it's switched. Um, B just pointed out this Vampy the Bat, like, right away. <laughs> she, that's definitely her kind of thing. Um, and then the super sets say they're flashy. So, I don't know. I mean, like, this is a cartoon, so it's hard to tell what that is. Flashy. And the flashy kind of have, like, sp like, sparkly spots. So maybe these are, like, glittery. Maybe it's, like, the... The super set in the first series, how it had like the little glittery kind of foily spots all over them. Maybe it's more like that. I really want these two. B just pointed out too that she really likes the shoelace, the cobra, and maple, the iguana. Of course, those are the flashy super sets, so that's going to be tricky. Um, I'm noticing the nice thing though about the super sets is they have the pretty distinct scents. Um, pumpkin pie, I haven't smelled that one, but I'm going to guess it's probably pretty pumpkin y. Um, pineapple shouldn't be too hard. Um, and then grape, usually, is, you know, everybody knows what grape smells like. So that should make that better. Then there's the larges, like I talked about. Um, so they have some really cute new guys in here. Some new animals. There's a spider. Webs the spider. Gumbo the wombat. <laughs> There's a wombat. Oh, the butterfly is really cute too. Polka the ladybug. So, um, one tip that I will give you with the two packs that will help, um, is when you buy, is when you buy one, it comes with two in there. Um, and both of them are going to have the same scent. So, you're going to get two that are coconut or two that are apple or two that are grape or whatever. So it'll be a mix of what's common, rare, um, or whatever. But that's helpful to know that. Um, supersets come together. So if you get, you won't just get one of the guys in the superset, you'll get both. So um, I'm really going to try to do some research. I mean, it'd be awesome if we got a superset now, but odds of that are not good. Um, I'll do some research and let you guys know to see if I can figure out what the flashies look like. Um... See if there's any videos of anybody opening up a flashy, and I'll tag it to this video. Um, that'll really help to know if there's something special that you can look for in the package. Like I said, the old supersets had the foils on them, so that made the spots pretty distinctive, um, and that helped. So, in this, the old, the, the ultra rares, I don't know if it was the singles, they weren't scented. So, the, the supersets weren't scented in the old packs. So, that's one thing, too, is they're scented now. I just kind of, that just kind of dawned on me. Um, so that's a difference too. So they will be scented this time. So before you used to, we used to go to the store and try to smell them. We couldn't smell anything on. Um, and we do have some of the old super sets. So anyway, let's get going with these. So we didn't even really pay attention to these in the store. They only had the two, so we just bought them. Um, so I'm going to give it a smell right away. We'll see what B thinks, but I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, I think that this smells pineapple-y to me. So, I'm looking at the list. In the super set, or, not the super set, the two packs, um, there's less of the scents. I don't see every single scent that they had in the singles, um, in these. So that, I think, helps. Um, I really think this smells like pineapple. Maybe, maybe apple. This could, I mean, it could be an apple. I haven't, like, I haven't scented, smelled the scented apples before. Maybe it's apple. So, you can never see this. I think it's pineapple. And the two that I think they are, I think, by looking at their colors, I think that they might be Pips the Chick and Puzzle the... The Dalmatian, maybe? Okay, so it's going to be hard to see on camera, but you can see, like, some light colors, some yellows. Um, so I think that that's where she's getting that guess from. I was going to say something similar, too. Um, I'm looking at the apple. From The two packs are harder to see. Usually you can't see a whole lot in them. Um... I definitely think I see some yellow, so I'm going to guess that her guess is pretty good. Um, though it could be 
Maybe we get super lucky. Both of the supersets for the pineapple, Beaks the Toucan, Squawk the Macaw, are pineapple, and they have yellow on them, so it could be the yellow we're seeing. It's just that, so that would be awesome if that's the case. So we'll get this guy opened up and see what they are. One more. I feel like this is apple. <laughs> I think I might be switching what I think this smells like. I think we might have an apple one. Okay, we'll just get these open and we'll see what they are. Okay, so this one is Apple. It is Ducky the Palatopus. That is one of the ultra rare rainbows. So that's awesome. We got an ultra rare. So the rainbow bodies, it just kind of like switches colors to, you know, it's kind of like the ombre gradual change. So that's cool. I'm going to give them a smell again. Yeah, it's Apple. You can tell it's apple, so. Like I said, apple and pineapple, I think, are going to smell pretty similar. But once you get it open, obviously, it's a lot stronger. So get the other one open. That one is Gumbo the Wombat. Right here is Gumbo. He's a common. Apple scented also. He's really cute. Okay, so we're going to get these up a little goodies opened up here. This is something bigger. Oh, it's like a little case. This is cute. It's like a little container you can keep stuff in. That's cute. Oh. Let's see what else we got? Got little stickers. Um, there's clips. So these came with clips, and here's a little instructions that shows how to do it. Um, it says four ways to clip on your pick me pop. So it's a clip that you can attach to something. So it shows a notebook. Um, it shows just, oh, a hat. There's some other little things. Um, so you can take your pick me pop and clip it to something. So that's cool. It looks like you just clip it on like this on something and then slip your pick me pops um, little band on there. So that's definitely something new. Another thing, a little pen. That's cute. And one more little blind bag. Um, it's this little clip also. It's just got a little thing you can clip it onto something. Um, so for the notes... Gumbo the Wombat says, I dig your style. And Ducky the Platypus says, make a splash wherever you go. And then it shows that they're apple scented. So, um, like I said, when you're trying to figure these out, the two packs are going to come with the same scent. So you don't have to try to fight different scents when you're trying to figure these out in the store. We got one more here to open up. Um, so we're going to start by getting the smell. see what B thinks before I give my guess. But I think this smells, I think this smells coconutty to me. This has this kind of like sunscreen coconut smell. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so we both kind of think it's a coconut smell. I'm going to look at this carefully here and pull away from the camera so I can see it good. Not seeing a whole lot through the package. So sometimes they don't sit quite right on top, or sometimes you have the little bags on top. Um, so you can't really tell what it is. It's the little the little tags that are on them are in the way. I can see that really distinctly. Um, I see something that looks kind of blue, maybe some pink. So blue and pink on the coconut. So that's what I'm going to go for for my guess. So, Coconut has Flurb the Angelfish, um, Star the Seal, Mizu the Koi. I hope we get that one. Um, that's it. Oh, and Shiba the Shibu Inu. I have no idea if I said that right, but that's a type of dog. So, Flurb the Angelfish, Mizu, Star, or Shibu. Or Sheba. 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 The Sheba Inu. 
Yeah, anyway. So those are four guesses. So all of them have pink on them, pretty much. Um, they have some blue on them. So these are going to be hard to distinguish when you're looking in the store, unless you can see like a really clear pattern. So it looks like the Sheba um, is going to have really distinct lines for the pattern. So that would help. Star of the Seal has like the kind of cheetah print. So that should help. Um, Mizu, the koi, uh, is white with spots, it looks like. So that looks like if you if it's laying correctly, that it would be pretty distinct. Um, and then Flirt of the Angel, Angler Fish has blobs on them. So that they all kind of have distinct patterning. These are just not lying well at all. Maybe open. Like there's quite a bit of blue on here. So I'm going to say maybe one of these is Flurb the Angler Fish. Uh, no. It's Star the Seal. So there's the blue that I was seeing. Um, and then the pink cheetah print. So I was definitely wrong that you'd be able to see this through the package. Um, you don't see. It's The pinks are pretty close together. That's kind of hard to tell what that is. But that is the coconut. I'll get the other one open. That one is Fleur of the Angler Fish. So we were right about the coconut. Um, again, the blue. I didn't look at the package when he was laying in there, so I'm not sure if you could see him. So he's little. He's much cuter than Anglerfish and Dory. Remember that fish that lured in Dory to eat her? Had the little thing. So that's what he is. That's cute. Those are both commons. We knew that though. The pineapples are, or the coconut, I mean, are both, are all commons. So this comes with a little ring, a little ducky ring. Here's a little clip. Another little pen. Here's the little clips, stickers, here's the little paper, Star of the Seal, it says Seashly Cute, and Flurb the Angler Fish says Officially Awesome. Alright guys, so that's everything that we got. We definitely are going to be hitting the stores hard to try to find these. Um, now that Toys R Us is gone, that kind of eliminates one good spot. We used to check for these all the time. We always had good luck there. Um, I don't know about you guys, but our local Walmarts kind of are terrible about getting the new stuff. They barely had any of the Season 2 of the Pick Me Pops. Um... They never had hardly any good selection. And actually, just recently, um, no, I'm not going to think of the name, the um, Pick Me Pop Surprise push-ups just hit Walmart here, and these have been out forever. We found them at Target, like, probably, I don't know, a year ago at least. Um, so we're going to definitely be hitting our targets. We've got, like, um, two local, then one not too far away. So we'll be hitting those. Um, comment, let us know what you found. If you've got any of the flashy supersets or you've seen them. Um, if you have any idea what those might look like in the package, we would love to know. Um, so we did get the one ultra rare of Ducky the Platypus. Um, that's a rainbow. So those, it does have a nice coloration. I mean, they all, they're all really cute, though. They always do a really good job. Common, rare, ultra, rare, super set, whatever. It doesn't even matter. They're all super cute. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll link some other videos in here if you want to watch our other videos on tips to get for the older ones. Um, we've got almost the entire collection for those. Um, check those out. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. Load. It's a cute overload. Don't you want to take us home?